You know what happened last night, don't you? At the blue. Well, there was a man shot. I saw the man shot. I has sneaked out the bathroom someone, window. Has there been someone killed lately at your performances? No, sir. Last night was the first time anything strange happened. Well, and today with with Mr. Fayette, um, whatever happened there, this is very generous of you, sir, to offer to pay for them funeral expenses. Of very course. expensive. Very generous. I kind of nod in agreement. Um, I'm trying. Hmm. Do you know anyone else? Do you happen to know a small man, white, about five feet tall, per chance? No, sir. I, 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 with all due respect, I don't know many white people. Most white people won't sit me down and talk with me like, like y'all are doing. Hmm. Uh, Could you? Uh, kind of. Can I kind of look at, look at what the bars kind of like the speakeasy environment kind of like the yeah, it's news just, of the it's room. Cheap. There's not many people here at noon. Uh, there's a man that brought you the whiskey. He's just fiddling behind the bar. Uh, far enough away that he's probably not eavesdropping. He is a person of color as well. Yeah. Um, your best guess would be that this is probably um, a speakeasy owned by a uh, mob mafia. Somebody um, kept running. Um, they checked when he came knocking. When you guys came to the door, there was like a slit in the door, and it's like the door's on like a back alley. Yeah. So it's not like a regular restaurant or anything. And basically, it's cheap whiskey, cheap booze. Um, Probably for whoever is willing to pay, and they know. I stand up and uh, it's not like the nightclub. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna talk to the uh, barkeep for a second. Okay, I'll be talking with Leroy. Wish I knew where my trumpet was. <laughs> I have a trumpet around here somewhere. Uh, uh, I kind of uh, like. Could you play, play the trumpet again, for me? Well, there ain't nobody here to play for. So well, you got to play for us. Well, I'm a big fan of your music. I don't know. I, I guess I could. I guess I could. I guess I could. Hey, Henry! What? You're walking over in the guy's... What? I play a little bit. Just... Yeah, anything better than sitting here in the dark. Just one song. That's all right. Okay, ask. he starts playing uh, He starts playing kind of a more cool Can I try to like, notice any weird songs song? about the music while he's playing? Um, or about the what The character's he's... not familiar with the cornet of the yeah. trumpet, so you don't know about fingering. But like sound. It just sounds like a song to you. You've reached the bar if you want to talk to this guy. That's Henry, obviously. Uh, Henry, is it? Yes, sir. Can I get you something else, sir? Um, well, I'm actually uh, in the rum running business myself, back in my hometown. I was wondering if maybe you knew any connections. I don't know nothing about that, sir. I just run the bar. Mm. Do you know anyone who might? Uh... You can make a psychology check. So close! <laughs> How Three close? away. Three away. Three That's away. too many. I haven't given you guys any of these yet. Remember, tell me if the other person has done some good role playing or something. You can get some of these magic coins. Okay. Uh, no, sir. Uh, I don't. I just. They, they bring in the liquor. I just do as I'm told, sir. Uh, well, do you know about when they bring it in? I, it I'd like it to depends. Meet it. It's different times, different times of day, different times of the week, sir. So mm-hmm. I'm, I'm really sorry, sir. That's all right, no problem. I, I, is everything all right? Over there? Oh yeah, the whiskey was amazing. That's Leroy's why I was been playing. Yeah. Uh, it's just a mournful tune that kind of fills the place up. Otherwise, it doesn't seem unusual, out of the ordinary. Okay. It's jazz. But it's a very kind of, it's a low key, it's, you know, jazz is all the way from all the way down to mournful music. And this is just kind of a soft, quiet. Yeah. Uh, it might be Dead Man's Stock from last night, but it's toned down a lot. Yeah. Um, and that was a pretty slow song. Yeah. And he plays it all the way through for you. Sorry, I'm sorry, sir. I'm really sorry, sir. It's all right. The whiskey was great. That's why I was asking. Wow. I'm glad you enjoyed it, sir. You just, if you need anything, you just let me know. What was. He kind of gestures at the empty place. Uh, it's slow, so i got plenty of time. Mind if we get another uh, pipe? Oh, yes, sir. Um, okay, I'm asking Leroy as Thank he you. finishes the song. Uh, $2. Two. Here we go. Um, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Now, hold on. What's your minimum? Uh, I have $10. So, wait. Your spending level is 10 right. So you can spend up to 10 bucks a day without worrying about... Or 10 bucks a week. A day? I have to check. You can spend up to ten bucks on marking off any cash. A couple bucks is not going to break you, so don't worry about that. I'm asking. I kind of applaud him for his music. 
He kind of waves it off and reaches for his drink. Um, and it goes. <laughs> do you know? I come and sit back down. And oh. find down. Do you know where you're playing? Taking used one for one. Do you know where you're playing next, Leroy? Uh, where the wind blows me, sir, I, I don't know right now. Okay. Um, Who usually I, tells you where you're playing? Well, I usually just find some place to play. Yeah. And I, 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 might know, I might know a day before, it might be an hour. Who tells you? Or you just well, I, look, I find a place to play, because they don't like me playing when I don't show up. And uh, sometimes, and he points at the, the refilled liquor yeah. um, glass, sometimes... I don't show up. I might not show up tonight. Can I? Like, oh, I'm, no, I was going to play at the blue place tonight again, sir. Yes, sir, but... But they closed. I'm guessing with the police rolling all over that place, so I have to find another job. Yeah. Can I, uh... Is there a way I can figure out where you're playing next? Because I'd like to hear you in a performance. Well... I could... I could try to telephone you, but I don't know if I remember to. Well, but I could try. I appreciate it. Uh, I'll, I'll, all right, I'll, I'll make my best. I'll make my best. I'll make my best, sir. Um. So I. Oh wait! When you were trying to buy the horn too, you also said this horn is my living. It serves my body and soul together. I ain't trying to move trumpets. Yes. So that was something we're gonna retro in after you talked about okay. about Marnie. And yeah. loving Marnie and all that stuff too. Okay. okay. I give him a like a slip of paper I have. And Just I, yeah, you probably have cards. Yeah. With your name, your address. Yeah. And right now there's not a whole lot of rotary dial telephones, but if somebody gives your name, tells you Central Park West, yeah. the operator will be able to connect. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. I give him that and I pay for his drink. Yeah, it's a couple of bucks. You know. Yeah. It's nothing. Just never have to worry about anything. Pretty much. Bad. Unless you want to, like, buy a plane or a boat or a giant ship or something. Your character is super rich. We figured that out. Machines. Yes. So you need to be better friends with him. Uh, this is the kind of character I've always wanted to play in a game. Just like, yeah, I throw my money around. I'm good to go. Um, let's see. Funeral. So what time would it be? After, I, ah, after you guys like talk to this guy in the bar and all this other shit, maybe noon. Okay. Um, you got plenty of time to see Mitch. Uh, God damn, this thing is so cool. Was, wasn't there. Mitch just supposed to show up at night? Bro? Mitch is supposed to come by like 11 p.m. tonight. Yeah. So you got tons of time on that. We should uh, um, go tell uh, Winners to let him in if we're not there. Yeah. Or yeah, find a telephone to call him. Hold on. Hold on. Does, does a speakeasy have a telephone link? No. No, that as low key as possible. Lord. Having a telephone means that there's some kind of they have to pay a bill every month, and so right. something's going to be going on there. Um, Where would the next public telephone be located? There's probably a uh, phone. There's phone booths all over the place. You okay. can find like a hardware store, drugstore, five and dime. There might even be one on a street corner somewhere. Um, public phones are actually it costs you a dime, a nickel to make a call, but otherwise public phones are like, they're very common. Okay. Unlike nowadays when you can't find a public phone because everyone has a cell phone. Yeah. Yeah. Um, hold on, hold on. There's Ah, boom. Okay, okay, okay. Generally, what are you guys' plans for the day? Leroy said he would call you when he has another gig. Um, I was going to call Winters at some point to let him know to let um, Mitch. Okay, yeah, you, um, you, you do, you find a telephone, like, a few doors down there's, like, a fine and dime. Yeah. And there, are, and there's, like, a soda fountain there, and there's a public, little public telephone booth in there that you can make a phone call. Okay. Um... Is there anything you want to do? Because there's something yeah. else I might want to do. I just need super general at the moment because something I need to know. There's something else coming up that I need to know how to deal with it. That's yeah. all. Okay. Uh, I was actually going to try to talk to Winters after he got home. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Are you telling him that when he's on the phone? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I just yeah. Him on the phone. You tell Winters, you know, there's a black, there's a colored person, not a black, 
a colored person is going to come by, or a Negro, uh, however you want to Yeah, Mitch Wester. Mitch Wester. Uh, the the door will let him in. Yeah. And Mr. let him in. Take care if of he it. comes to the room. And then he's, on, he's like tapping you on the shoulder. Like, and I like, let me talk to him. <laughs> hey, uh, winners. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, you wouldn't happen to, uh, who do you get your, uh, liquid from? Uh, a certain gentleman, sir. It uh, would be indiscreet of me to give away the name of men. Well, I was just trying to get a connection here in the city. That way I could bring it back some back to my hometown. Uh, if you would like, if you would let me know what you need, I can get you uh, uh, anything that you need, sir. All right. Well, thank you for letting me know. Very good, sir. Click, hang up. Okay. Um, can I, can we find, where, like, can we go to, like, the, one of the police stations to try and find information about the small man at all? Um, like ride my way to Brooker. Possibly, yes. Yeah. Uh, as you're leaving the five and dine, you see Leroy stumbling up the street yeah. after the three shot glass or three four because yeah. he finished his last one before he left you guys. Yeah. Four glasses of whiskey, yeah. and you uh, he's about a half a block away, about to cross the street when you see a gray Packard pull up alongside of him. Two white men climb out, grab him, drag him into the Packard. Uh, the door closes, and the car drives away. Do what do you want to do? do you both see this, this. yeah. You're a little schnockered, but you didn't drink much, and you're a little schnockered because you drank a little more than him. Yeah. But you guys both spot this. It's a half a block up. It's just like, it's so fast. It's like playing. It's like the door opens, then he goes, the door closes, the car heads up the street. Heads down the street, actually. Oh. You saw that, right? Yeah. Was that that same Packard you were rambling about last night? Yep. Oh, that's right. You watched that shit happen. Yeah, that looks like the same Packard. Too far away to see the license plate, which has been reattached to it, apparently. What do you want to do? Uh, I think that confirms my suspicions that he's connected with that person. In some I way. Uh, look at the uh, street name. That uh, it's, down. it's on 172nd Street. 172nd Street? Yeah, they're heading west. West, all right. Yep. I said we go to the police station. Yeah. I'll either ch- I'll either talk my way in or bribe my way in to get information. Okay. Uh, Alright, you guys go to the police station. Um, to report this? Maybe. Well, and to ask okay. if I try and find some information on who this is. Okay. Uh, numerous bribes later. <laughs> you're allowed, If you want, you can look at... They've got, these, they've got books of photographs of people who've been arrested for whatever yeah. reason. And you can look at the mugshots or uh, the mug books or whatever they're called. Yeah. If you want. Yeah. I'm going to look through that okay. and try and identify the person. Okay. Or maybe have... Well, who did... Who saw... I, I saw his face, apparently. Did I see better, it? Of course. Uh, I thought you said you... I thought we said you saw him as well. Didn't you make the real spot? Yeah. Yeah. You saw him. You both saw him. I both so basically, kind of you were kind of just... If you see a photograph of this guy, you'll recognize it. Because you saw him when he took the shot, and you saw him when he was looking over his shoulder, running away from you in the back of the hall. Uh, yeah. You can each make me a library use roll. This is going to determine how long it takes you to find out what you are looking for, hopefully. I got a 54. Out of 20? 88. <laughs> okay. So it is hours later. Like, literally like dinner time. Six or seven hours later. Yeah. When you finally come across a picture of this guy, yeah. uh, and the name is, the name is. Should we just flip over his name? Joey Larson. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. yeah, that's the name of him, Joey Larson. You flip it over, Joey Larson. Yeah. Uh, he's been arrested for petty theft, a, a, a numerous other like misdemeanors. Uh, there are some notes that he might be connected. To the mob, possibly even connected to Archie Bonato, who um, you can find out with more money changing hands as a mob boss in New York City. Any any other specific information about his character or him to see the hangout in certain spots? No. No. Uh, just as it arrests Did that kind of thing. Police officers know anything personally about? Uh, uh, make another credit rating roll as you bribe everybody inside. You get ten dollars, and you get ten dollars. Thirty-four. 
Um, out of my knees. So. Bonato um, is rumored, yeah. although not exactly connected, to a warehouse, uh, a garage, basically. And this police officer can give you that address uh, when you bribe him another 50 bucks. I bribe him. He seems very hesitant. He's probably on the take. Okay. That's how he knows this. But you didn't get this from me. Yeah. And if you tell him you did, I have my, he leaves that threat un, unfinished, but he does I don't tell seem you very advice. impressed by his threat. That's fine. <laughs> but I... He carries a gun, he's probably good with it. But, uh... I tell him I, I don't... In, I, I'm not very impressed, but I tell him I won't tell anyone else. Alright, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, what time is it now? Uh, supper time. It's like 7 o'clock at night. You guys haven't eaten any dinner or lunch. I, uh, I because we you showed up here before going to lunch. Yeah, All you had for lunch was liquor. <laughs> You both feel like shit right now, like uh, little hangover, like daytime hangovers, that kind of crap. I just look at Daryl. We should just head back and get ready for Mitch. Sounds good. And get something to eat. Mitch won't be there till eleven. But we're hungry anyway. If this guy, if uh, you can each make me an idea check. I got a a hundred. A hundred. Yep. You. We should go get Mitch. Forty-four out of sixty-five. Um, if Leroy's been kidnapped, there might be like a time thing going on here. We might want to yeah. kind of get on top of this. He's all like, "We'll wait for Mitch. We'll deal with Leroy tomorrow." Basically, we, right? We need to go get Lord Leroy. They might be trying to do something today with him, like something real bad. Can we? But but we haven't eaten anything. <laughs> we can stop at a local diner or something. I mean, are we prepared? Because this might be a, like a mob headquarters of some sort of like, like a center of like distribution for them. Let, let's uh, let's hire some thugs. <laughs> Would I even be able to? You hire? guys have no idea how to go about hiring some thugs. Can I buy better? You're a mechanic. Weapons? You're rich. Can I buy better weapons then? Uh, like what? What are you trying to buy? Well, I need to get him something so he can shoot. Does he even know how to n- use a gun? I don't know. I'm gonna ask. Okay. <laughs> um, if we're gonna fight the mob, if it's a mob, know. you don't want to fight them. You yeah. want to kind of hide and watch. Yeah. We should at least go check it out. Try to be as stealthy as possible. Do we probably need? As much as it pains me, we probably need different clothes than these. Or would they be wearing like what we're wearing? Mobs would be wearing pinstripes. Uh, so she would kind of in. You might stand out. He would fit right in. Because um, he has a cheap suit on right now. That fedora. You were going to a funeral, so, well, you kept the fedora, but you're probably just wearing your regular cheap suit clothes. Would I have, like, a cheap suit at home? No, winners would not allow it. Okay, so, can we go back to the Jewish tailor? Yeah. And I'll get myself a very cheap... Sal? Sal. Yeah. A very cheap... He's appalled. <laughs> but he says, I do have some... For certain people, and he finds a suit that mostly fits you. It's, it's not tailored, so it's not like the perfect fit, so it's like the most uncomfortable thing you've ever worn. You know it looked very unhappy about okay. like, having to wear but it. But it's pinstripe. It's, it is a nice looking suit. Nice looking suit. Sure. It's awful. You hate it. You want to die. <laughs> I just give okay. him my clothes and tell him to take yeah. it to winter. Yes, sir. Uh, I, I, I. Yeah. And I get myself. Yes, uh, I'll have it done. I'll have it taken. Yes, sir. And I, I'm not carrying my cane to kind of blend it. Yeah, okay. You still, you have a lint, but you can still walk without the yeah. cane if you have to. Okay. All right. Yeah. Um, you just find a diner and you order something easy, like a cold sandwiches to eat, and then what you head up by like eight o'clock towards Bonato's Garage. Is that the plan? Uh, yeah. Surprisingly good for that cost that it cost <laughs> you for this food. Actually, like, <laughs> no poor people could eat so well. <laughs> Um, okay, it is a garage. Two heavy trucks. Um, oh wait. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, the, the main doors are open, and you can see two heavy trucks in there. That'd be a good place to hide if you wanted to, like, crouch underneath them. And most people wouldn't notice you unless they were really looking for something. Uh, there's a wide room in the rear. Um, it backs up to an alley, the shop does, uh, and the blinds are drawn. Um, but the paper all over over the paper of the blinds, because of those paper blinds, yeah. is old and ragged, so there's lots of holes too. So these are the things you see. Like open front, there's nobody out there, and then in the back there's windows 
off the alley with holes in the blinds. So if you you have choices. You can peek through the holes in the blinds. You can go through the front. I feel like the trucks. Just kneel under the trucks. Yeah, they be closer so you can see them. But I feel oh. like that'd be painful for me with the lens. Yes. Also, or I could break. You can split up and go one in each. I'll, I'll go to uh, the climb on the roof. I'm gonna, I'll go to the it doesn't look like the roof has a good vantage point to see inside. I'll just get to the windows. Okay, so you're in the alley in the back. I'm gonna go to the trucks. You're gonna go in the front and kind of creep under the truck and see what you can see. Um. Uh, You spot a group of men. Uh, uh, actually, the Gray Packard pulls up. Uh, a group of men get out, including uh, a little guy that you recognize. Oh, no, you don't recognize this guy. He gets out. He was the driver. And this other gentleman gets out with two other men, um, who he appears to be uh, well-dressed, nice pinstripe suit, looks around. The other guys all have like their hands, like they're ready. He seems very relaxed. Um, they go inside. They pass by you without noticing. You see them come in yeah. as you're peeking in the back window. Um, the this guy. What do you want to call this guy? Boss. We'll call him Boss. Okay. So um, uh, Turner's also brought into the garage into the office where you can see him, yeah. and they've left the office door open so you can see what's going on as well. He is tied to a chair. All these men have like bulges in their clothing. You know what I mean? Um, ill-hidden guns, probably. His hands are left, and arms are left free, but they tie him to a chair, which seems really weird to probably both of you. Um, then they hand him his trumpet. Uh, to one side, you recognize this guy, Joey Larson. Um, uh, there's two other men. Uh, they're referring to a fifth and a last man in the building. This guy. Boss, we'll call him, you said? Yep. Big man in shirt sleeves, puffing a giant Havana cigar. The uh, boss, as we put him, says, uh, is this a boy? And Joey says, yes, sir, it is. Repeat what you saw. So, I went to the funeral. Dead fan, Freddy Fan, got up and walked. Uh, Lorette. Uh, my girlfriend. She says that uh, this is from the voodoo, and that the gang can we can use it. Uh, boss hums and puffs for a while, and then asks Joey if Joey's sure. Joey says he is. I am sure. No screws, Joey, like you did Manusco. No, no way, boss. It was a dumb piece of work, Joey. Keeping blue heaven closed is costing me dough. All you had to do was warn the guy, Joey. Now I got to get a new accountant. He hums a little bit more. A flicker of expression passes between him and the gunman on either side of Joey Lawson. Okay, Joey, I'll bite on what you said, he says. He looks at Joey's hands. I want you to shoot yourself. The room goes like dead silent. Joey Larson twitches, but he doesn't move. Look, Joey, this here black boy, insulting, can bring you back to life. Like you say, what's the problem? Shoot yourself. Larson doesn't do anything. He goes, little Jimmy. Little Jimmy, shoot him. He's talking to this guy. Uh, Larson tries to pull out this that giant ass forty five <laughs> long barrel, uh, but uh, the boss definitely pulls out a little pistol and just pops him one. <laughs> uh, and then he puts a second bullet right in his chest, and uh, Larson goes down. Uh, little Jimmy bends over the crippled corpse. He's dead, boss. Uh, boss, which he literally says, hey, boss, good call. Uh, the boss shakes his head, Joey, I always told you that gun was too big for a fast draw. And then he turns to Leroy Turner, he says, okay, jazz man, blow. Turner swallows up, swallows hard, and he starts to play, imagine this without all the background music. It's high society, you recognize that. A jazz song. Um, seconds pass. Joey twitches. Then he slowly rises. Everybody swears, including Leroy Turner, who stops for a moment, but then, with a look from the boss, goes back to playing. He says, keep playing. Larson hunches towards the boss, spitting blood, and then little Jimmy opens up, pulls out. Little Jimmy has a Tommy gun. 
Okay? He shot, he, he, he had the Tommy gun before. So, retroing this in, and he just like uh, empties 20 rounds in a joy. Just. Um, Turner, Turner giggles, he stops playing for a second, and then he starts playing uh, another song. And then he starts playing what you recognize as Tiger Rag. Uh, it takes like 20 seconds to start playing, damn it. Um, the, the walking corpse dances and jerks, and the heavy slugs cut up Joey and rip him apart. Bullets whine around the room, the smell of blood and cord out his thick. Uh, he empties his, his Tommy gun. Uh, it's got a bear, it's got one of those yeah, drums, yeah, he just empties it into, there it is, this is what he starts playing, um, Larson's all over the floors and the walls, the, the boys cross themselves, uh, somebody pulls out a bottle and starts pouring drinks, uh, boss swears in disbelief, Leroy stops playing and sanity checks for both of you for watching this, you could have looked away at any point. 90. That's a fail? Yeah. Swing. Five points of sanity. I lost one. Fail. I've lost one well, for me to four. not. Four. You got another phobia. Yes, I lost You have to like four. Yeah, yeah. You've lost what? Uh, so I lost five. Five. And you need to make me an idea check. I John. lost more than 12 this session. But it, it's been in the session and that's been like hours before. Okay. So that doesn't count for this. Okay. Because you've had time to relax. And 34. Does that make your idea check? Yeah, it's 15. You go temporarily insane. You lucky duck. Um, you gain a new mania and seek to involve This is the same thing that happened to you last time. I really... What do you hate? Jazz music. <laughs> okay, the good thing the music has stopped. You pull your gun out because you're going to kill Leroy. And he stops playing. And you're like... You want to point it through the window just in case he starts again? I kind of like braced myself against the window. So you're ready to shoot his ass yeah. if he starts playing jazz. That's perfect. Turner's just giggling. He's just stopped playing when the body finally fell after this guy unloaded a Thompson submachine gun into it. And he's just like... <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Um, uh, uh, boss... Says, cut him loose. And then one of the guys pulls a big ass knife out and cuts Leroy loose. And then the big man says, get the hell out of here. They all, all of the monsters look like they're freaking out, okay? Like, sweating, this guy is all pale. Uh, he's just like, get out of here. And Leroy just laughs and he's just giggling and giggling. And he just like scampers away, like scampers out the front, goes right by you, um, uh, just laughing, like, this is hilarious. And then he, you see, you don't see this, because the next one you see, he stops and goes, <gasps> <gasps> and then he takes off running, like, like sprints out of the place, like a freaking, like a sprinter, I don't know how to describe it. He just runs out, like, busts his ass. Um, uh, and then boss says, clean this mess up. And then him and this guy, Head out the front at just a stride. They're walking. They walk right by you. You see them leave this room. The other guys start cleaning up, cleaning up the blood and gore. There's two other uh, two other monsters in here. They just start cleaning us up. You're out of your temporary insanity. Okay. You would have killed him if he had tried to play jazz again. Okay. But then you're like, <sighs> okay. you can have a phobia if you want, because you lost a lot of sanity over the last like. Six or seven hours, but that's your choice. I'm gonna leave that up to you. I don't feel like I want. To okay. Have so what's your new sanity? What is it right now? It's fifty-seven. Forty-seven. Forty-seven means you need to change that number to a nine. So if you lose nine in a short period of time, that's when you're gonna get a new one. You have like a slew of them right now, so coming up on you. Um, oh, low sanity yeah. can fuck you up pretty bad. Yeah. You, you, I'll give you. You could always come to him and be like, I, I need some psychiatric help. Could you help me out with some cash? You know, you're like, hey, here's five thousand bucks. How much will I get you? Uh, a couple weeks now, <laughs> Anyway, whatever you want to do. Uh, the boss leaves, oh. they get back in the Great Packard, they drive away. These guys are cleaning up the back room. You can see them cleaning up the back room as well. What do you want to do? They're not going to notice if you leave. They didn't even notice you at all. I don't know how you want to handle that, guys. And the two of you can't see each other. You kind of know where each other are, 
So I'm assuming you, you were like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk, watch out back. I'm going in the truck beforehand. But he might have run away. He might have run away. You can't see each other's arms. Um, I want another beer. I think we saw what we wanted to see. Yeah. Okay. So I. So what do you guys want to do? I don't think we want to pick a fight with the mob. Either. I wouldn't. (laughs) Personally, these guys probably are much better with guns than you guys are. Yeah. I don't even have a gun. This guy left with his Thompson, but other than that. Uh, I'm just gonna try and vault back to where we first like said we were gonna split up. Yeah, yeah. yeah you guys can meet each other there. Yeah, yeah. you meet each other there. He looks um, he's a mess. What is your scene? Four. He is a fucking mess. He's all like, ha. What are you doing? It should be su- okay. So you're just like like making like distress noises under your breath and shaking and pale and. Um, literally, some of my fingers don't have nails anymore. Oh my god, I had a friend that used to bite them down to the quick. If he would bite that, that white bit there, he would bite his nails all the way down there. It was disturbing to look at. Yeah. yeah. yeah I'm like, isn't that painful? He's like, yes. I'm like, stop. That's where they're at that. And when I would see him at the game table biting, I'd be like, stop. <laughs> I was trying to help. Is the only way I knew how. That's, anyway. that's the point of where it's at. So you're starting to really, really go for your nails. Okay. Yeah. He's I a kinda, mess, dude. He's a fucking mess. Daryl. <laughs> I kind of just, like, grab him by the shoulder and kind of, like, get a cab, take us yeah. back you, to the you, yeah, It takes a little while because you're in kind of a little part of town that's... Yeah. There aren't a lot of cabs. Did you eventually find a cabbie yeah. who will take you home? Yeah. Back to your apartment? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I We go back up and okay. I knock on the door for Winters. You, you have a key. Oh, yeah. It's your I apartment. Open it. I open it. Your doorman does this. When you come in, you go up to the whatever floor you're on, yeah. up high somewhere. Cause, yeah. You know, nice view. You let yourself in. Winters is immediately comes out of the kitchen and uh, helps you with your coat. Yeah. Helps you both with your coat. I s- sit Daryl down in the chair. In He's the chair. just rolling all right, sir. I don't think he is. Very good, sir. He goes to the bar. Yeah. Uh, makes a very stiff drink for Mr. Wallen, which essentially is whiskey straight. Gives it to you. Mr. Wallen, this might help you. Oh, brandy. Sorry, it's brandy. I don't grab it. He puts it down in front of you. Perhaps Mr. Wallen could do something. Perhaps Mr. Wallen could seek some psychiatric help. I think he needs it at this point. Very good. He seemed distressed last time. He seems very distressed now, sir. Mr. Wallen. Mr. Wallen. You're safe. You're in Mr. Cloverfield's apartment. You are safe. This might help, sir. Some brandy, sir. Perhaps you should that side. Yeah, he's in a bad way. I kind of just sigh. Um, Winters, do you know a good psychologist? I could find one for you, sir, yes. Find one. Yes, sir. As he gets it to his lips, yeah. straight back. Yeah. Oh, it's really good, Brandy. It's super smooth. It's like drinking Coca-Cola. It goes down so nicely. And you feel that warmth spreading upwards, and the calmness is starting to come. Uh, Winters makes uh, telephone calls and returns to refill his brandy. What did he find, Winters? Ah, uh, yes, sir. Um, the near, near, uh, most are closed at this time of night, sir, but there are some men who could see him tomorrow, sir. Book an appointment. Yes, sir. He's off on the telephone again. Um, what time is it right now? Uh, it was 7 o'clock when all this shit went down with the, uh, the garage. Uh, so it's probably about eh, roughly 8 o'clock. You guys ate sandwiches at the diner before you went and checked out the garage and spotted the whole Leroy thing. Um, you're starting to feel a little bit better. You still have a lot of issues. I'll, gi- I- I'll give you a hint. Um, fuck, I've forgotten your name. You know begins with an A. God damn it. Austin. Austin. Uh, I got it just as you said it. Um, if weird shit happens and, uh, and you want, and Wallen is involved, you might want him to, as soon as something weird starts happening, just close his eyes, look away, cover his ears, run away. At this point, with four sanity, if you see anything else weird, it's probably going to drive you mad. And when your sanity hits zero, then your character becomes a non, an NPC, essentially, because you're just done. Yeah. We could probably, before you guys leave today, roll you up a new character, <laughs> at least temporarily. No, uh, Wallen's going to need a few months yeah. of real therapy. Years. years. Yeah. Possibly years. At least months. To, in order to, to try to get himself back to where he can cope. My idea was potentially call up his brother. 
That could help too, but you fuck up that sand in your wall. And no, all of a sudden, no, 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 not for him. Like, as oh yeah, you could use your wall, yeah. your brother. You told your brother shit. And he doesn't remember all of it because he was pretty drunk. Like, um, but yeah, yeah, since I feel guilty about what's happened to him, I'm just taking you could care pay of for him. it. Yeah, yeah, you could pay for his his treatment. You could send him home and pay for his treatment. Yeah. Um, but I th- I guess um, once Winters comes back, I'll ask him to make dinner. Like, yes, I'm yeah, he makes dinner. you guys a nice dinner. He um um he has the cold cuts. And sandwiches and, little, and fried potatoes are good. Enough. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. He fits you guys a yeah. quick dinner. Uh, you're, you've eaten by nine o'clock. How drunk do you want to get? Very. Okay, you can get trash. That'll help, actually. That'll at least help you cope for now. Um. Uh, uh, Western. Mitch won't show up till eleven. Yeah. I want to be stumbling and Western. bumbling by the time he shows up. You're probably just sitting. Well, you don't have to get up. Stumbling, somebody's bringing you all your stumbling drinks. Stumbling and bumbling. <laughs> okay. So you're just... Uh, everything is okay. It's okay. It's okay. The alcohol helps. It makes the pain go away. <laughs> alcohol. There's a temporary solution. The Homer Simpson quotes. Oh, damn. 